Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable automatic updates in Windows Media Player. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So our first thing you want to do is open up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, as always, I would recommend creating a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just would go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left corner of the registry editor window. Select export. File name, I would recommend naming the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, it's very simple. You just would select file and then import, and navigate to set file location, and then just import it from there. So again, very straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. And now, same thing for policies. Do the same thing now for Microsoft. And then there should be a Windows Media Player folder. If not, you might have to create it. So in order to do that, you have to right click on the Microsoft folder up here, select new, and then select key. Name this Windows Media Player. Exactly how you see it on my screen. First letter of each word should be capitalized. Again, Windows Media Player, no spaces in between any of these words. Hit enter your keyboard to save that. Now on the right panel here, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select a D word 32 bit value. You want to name this value disable auto update. Again, first letter of each word should be capitalized, no spaces. Hit enter. Now you want to double click on this. So you want to change this to one. So type in the number one here to disable the auto updating feature. If you want to re-enable it, you could just type a zero in here or just delete this whole D-word value to begin with. You just right click on the D-word value and select delete. But since we're trying to disable it in this tutorial, we're just going to set value data to one, select OK. And there you go, guys. And like I said, if you wanted to revert this rather than restoring the registry, you can just right click on this D-word value and select delete and just remove it from there. You will need to restart your computer for this to take effect. I should put that out there. And then once you restart, your change should take effect. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.